In this video, we'll look at how to make a hexaflexagon that has six different faces. It's called a hexahexaflexagon. If you haven't yet made a three-faced hexaflexagon called a trihexaflexagon, I recommend starting there. You can find a link to the trihexaflexagon video in this video's description. To begin constructing a hexahexaflexagon, use the link in the description to download and print the hexahexaflexagon template on regular 8.5 by 14 inch legal sized paper. Standard letter size paper can also be used if necessary, although the result may be undesirably small. Carefully cut out the strip containing 19 triangles. Fold back and forth along the inside printed lines to create a crease along each triangle's edge, which will make it easier to work with the hexaflexagon later. Set the strip in front of you like this, with the longest side closest to you. From here, repeatedly fold back the right side of the strip after every second triangle. It should feel like you're folding in a spiral manner to create a sort of tunnel between two layers of paper. When done, you should have a multi-layered strip with 10 triangles showing on each side. Notice that what we have here is essentially a layered version of the trihexaflexagon template. We'll finish constructing our hexahexaflexagon by following the steps used to make a trihexaflexagon. Position the strip in front of you like this, such that the rightmost triangle is the one with only a single layer. The leftmost triangle should have two layers. The left and right edges of the strip should slant downward to the right. Count three triangles from the right and fold the remainder of the layered strip back 180 degrees, creating a candy cane shape. Now count in four triangles from the bottom of the candy cane and fold that section back 180 degrees. As you approach the other end of the candy cane, bend down its end triangle so that you can then tuck it against the underside of the section you're folding. You should now have a hexagon with a two-layered triangle sticking out. Fold this triangle back 180 degrees and glue it to the triangle it covers on the hexagon's face. Now you're ready to decorate the faces of your hexahexaflexagon. Here I'll use a different colored sticker on each face's triangles. To show hidden faces, perform the same pinch, push, pull algorithm that is used to flex trihexaflexagons. As with trihexaflexagons, if you find that there is no opening to part on top for the last step of the flex algorithm, rotate the flexagon and start the algorithm using an adjacent pair of triangles. Executing the algorithm on the opposite side can also be helpful. If you're having difficulty bringing out some of the hidden faces, try this. Pick a pair of triangles and repeatedly perform the flex algorithm starting with those triangles until you can no longer complete the step where you pull apart the opening at the top. From there, rotate the hexagon and do the same starting with an adjacent pair of triangles. Continuing this process will eventually reveal all six faces. To check out Martin Gardner's original 1956 Scientific American article on hexaflexagons, which is packed with interesting information on the construction, history, and mathematics of these fascinating creations, see the link in this video's description.